Pierce van Bogobe. Yeah. On gene set variation analysis in CBioPortal. Yes, my name is Kees van Bokhove. I'm the CEO and founder of Dive. Thank you so much for having me here. It's a great honor and pleasure. Um, open source biomedical informatics is really my thing, and I wanted to be involved lots more, but for all kinds of practical reasons, hasn't really happened so far with BOSC, but I'm here now. Uh, five years ago, I was a, a master of science, as it's called, um, in bioinformatics, which really means that mostly uh, you have no clue, uh, but you have some scientific f thinking frameworks, right? And I decided I want to start coding open source bioinformatics with a group of people, which is this group now. And um, if you want to know more about it, I have a talk tomorrow at 2, uh, which I will tell you more. What I just want to announce to you today is that we have um, in CBioPortal, which you might or might not know, it's a cancer genomics tool from originally Memorial Sloan Kettering. Uh, we've built a new feature called the gene set enrichment variation. Thanks for explaining gene sets. I don't have to go into that anymore. So um, CBioPortal is really a tool that you can use to uh, visualize cancer genomics data sets mostly in a, in a medical setting. It's developed by an open source community, uh, of course, uh, it's BOSC, and this is some of the GitHub handles and, and their, their photos. Uh, as you can see, there's a large group at Memorial Stone Kettering, but also Dana Farber is very active and a couple of folks at the Hive. And we have this whole collaboration process using all the, the tools, uh, the GitHub and, and, and Docker and whatnot. So um, the GSVA is really a method, I cannot go into it, of course, but that transforms your gene uh, matrix to a gene set matrix, which makes it that much more interesting uh, sometimes to look at it. And that's now available in, in CBioPortal. So just to give you some ideas about it, you can query on uh, gene sets, uh, including from MSIGDB. Um, you can do heat maps. Um, just because we can, we did the uh, actual clustering algorithm in uh, the JavaScript on the client side, uh, which makes it really nicely interactive. And uh, you can also expand the tracks and then look at actually the genes in the gene set. And there's plotting options as well. Uh, all this is going uh, via pull request to GitHub, which is how the community works. Um, right now, it's not yet integrated with the main cbioportal.org site that you can go to because Dana Fiber is working on some refactoring and that needs to be finished first before we can merge this in. And similarly, um, I don't know if you knew this, but um, it's not only open source, but also open data community. And for example, TCGA datasets ready to go to load in CBioPortal, you can find on GitHub as well. It's called Data Hub. And here on the bottom, you see a nice example of thyroid cancer where there's some gene stats that nicely delineate uh, papillary from follicular thyroid cancer. That's it. Thanks so much. If you want to know more, find me uh, at my booth or tomorrow at the talk. And um, if you want to work at the Hive, uh, please uh, send me your CV. Thank you.